All right, guys, go to Boy 32 here. Check it out. So we're sitting on a review table, man. Let's get back to basics and start shooting while we still can. Uh, what I have on the table right here is a really cool, but I want a really cool little deal. But what I want to do is I want to tell you how this all came about. A friend of mine named Mr. Pops Quest calls me up one day and he goes, "Hey, <laughs> got a bucket list thing I want to do, and it's down in Talladega. It is the USPSA Nationals two gun pistol caliber carbine open division." You want to do it? And I said, yeah, let's do it. So anyway, I thought it'd be a really cool deal to do a series because I do have in the safe a JP Rifles GMR-15 with the 5.5-inch barrel with the aluminum shroud. If you go to Honest Outlaw's channel, he did a review on that exact same rifle. And I'm going to do one here in the near future when, well, I guess there's not 18 inches of snow out on the range. In the meantime, I thought it'd be kind of cool to... Do something a little bit more custom. Kind of, well, let's just say, let's mimic that damn same rifle because JP makes some good rifles. But I also did reach out to the guys over there at Palmetto State Army. Now, I'll tell you straight up, I bought this. This is, And we're getting into this. But I asked them, I said, I want to do a comparison between the GMR-15, your ARV, which I didn't even know existed until my buddy Pops Quest told me about it, and uh, the factory and a custom. So anyway, they got us one that's on the way, which I'm really excited about. But I want to tell you about what we've got in the box. We're going to go over some of the individual pieces, and then I'm going to do reviews on the individual pieces. Now, for all those guys that are asking me, yes, we are still working on the BC, uh, BCG video series. Slowly but surely, we'll go through that. We are still working on the Econ as well as the premium rifle build series, which I have one of the premium rifles already completed. My son, he helped me, and that's his rifle. And then we're going to do Econ, uh, Econ 1, which is really cool. The biggest thing right now that we're running into an issue with is finding parts. But I will tell you this. I purchased all this from three different manufacturers. Believe it or not, uh, Optics Planet, they came through like a charm. Um, Ordered some stuff off of Amazon because it was the same, same. It was the manufacturer. They were just doing their stuff through Amazon. My information was already in there, and it was free delivery, two days. And then uh, Midway USA, I want to say no, uh, Big Daddy Unlimited. <laughs> and believe it or not, they had their stuff there. All of this came within a week. This was a two-day delivery. All right, shut up. Let's do this. This is what's fun. Let's talk about this. So in this box is a thing called an ARV. And it is a 9mm pistol carbine. This is the upper and lower receiver set. Look at that thing. Is that not cool? Now, the neat thing about this, and I've got the uh, Glock Mag AR9s, both in pistol. And, and in USBSA, you have to shoot a rifle length. Uh, but So that's why we're doing this. But this is a masked receiver set. I don't know if these are billet. Uh, they may be forged. I'm not sure. We'll go over the individual parts and pieces on this guy right here as well. Now, the cool thing about it, it takes the Scorpion Max. Look at that. And another thing that's really cool about it is an integrated last round hold open. Really, really neat. Um, the magazine release is right there. And one of the things we're going to do, I am going to probably, I'm going to, I'm going to do some work on this Magwell. Not really, I'm not happy with that. Also, we're going to probably go ahead and make the finish of the uh, magazines a little bit better. Now we've got the extensions. I've got the drum mag for this thing. This is exactly what comes on the AKV. Uh, really cool deals. The uh, bolt release is right here. And if, this is going to, because you can wham, hit up just like that. So not a bad little deal. Go ahead and release it. We'll put that away. Um, it does come with a proprietary bolt. And I believe this has to be, you have to use this ARV bolt. I'll do a comparison between this and some other stuff. Um, yeah, YFS screws in there. Uh, probably got a spring-loaded hammer, and that's it. But this is going to be a really cool build. Now let me show you some of the parts and pieces. This thing I think was like $500-something. But I literally got this thing in a day and a half. Now I have all the parts and pieces with the exception of the barrel, and the barrel I ordered from Odin Works. It is a 5-inch barrel, all right? that will go right here, and then it has an aluminum shroud that goes the rest of the distance. And what that does is it, one, it's a one pound, one ounce barrel system. And number two, a lot of people have gotten together and they decided 
in pistol caliber carbine, if you're not trying to reach out to 100 yards or whatever, and you can still hit out to 100 yards, uh, you really don't need it, any extra barrel length. All right? So let's talk about what the parts and pieces. Uh, optic. I know you guys know, and here is a primary arm. So this is the uh, 25MD, MD25. This is going to go on the uh, Palmetto State Armory one. Uh, what's going to go on the JP rifle is this little booger right here. This is an EOTech. Uh, we're going to do some comparisons of these optics. We've got high end, low end. But what I want to do, uh, a lot of the guys are shooting USBSA and pistol caliber carbine. They're using the Seymour. Now, what I decided to go ahead and get was the all aluminum and black. And this is a 6MOA dot. The cool thing about the Seymour is you can actually change out the diode. This is the digital click on and off. And uh, it is a uh, beautiful, beautiful round dot. Nice thing is uh, I can wear sunglasses and shoot with this. And then also I'm going to be shooting with the, uh, what do you call it, the, the SIG Legion X5. Now, let me go get that. Stand by. Okay, so we'll be going ahead and using this guide. I am going to take the flashlight off because we're shooting open class. I can leave the magwell on. And then I've got some base plates that are coming that are a little bit longer than what we got right here. But with this dot and that dot, I don't have to use any kind of corrective lenses. They are show up really clear. All right, so we're going to go with the Seymour. Oh, look at that thing. Isn't that nice? But it's an all-aluminum bottle uh, body with the uh, riser already built into it for a low one-third co-witness. Uh, other key features, we're going to do a Strike Industries uh, parts kit. I am going to put the Hyper Fire trigger system in this thing. Uh, I just felt like I've used this in other PCCs, and I have never had a light primer strike. Uh, so we'll be going ahead and putting this in there. I've got a couple of these on other competition rifles, and I absolutely love them. Uh, two A titanium takedown pins. The Hogue Monogrip. Now, I like this one, and there's a reason why I like this guy. I probably won't do an independent review on this. But when you mount this onto the firearm, when you're going to go for the grab in a bucket, the idea is that this little bit of a lip right here is perfect for that grab. It gives, gives you that extra support. Because on my other competition rifles, uh, specifically, specifically uh, three gun, I use the Ace uh, skeletonized stock. Uh, got this and the handguard and the silent capture spring. Now this is for the pistol caliber carving. This is pretty cool, because and, and it's going to be interesting to see if I can make this thing run, starting off with it. But this is an extra heavy JP silent capture spring. So uh, it's going to be fun. I do know that I will have to put a uh, spacer in this guy right here. But, uh, yeah, I wanted to keep everything as similar as my other competition rifles are. And you know how much I like the Mark III handguard if you follow the channel. So we are going to be running the Mark III handguard. It is a simple round handguard. It is knurled. Uh, and it is just awesome, and I love the barrel nut hookup, which is the reason why I've got the red Loctite here, because while I'm doing nothing, and I'm out of town, and I'm waiting on the barrel, this system has to set up on the upper receiver uh, using red Loctite. And yeah, guys, I had a gentleman ask me a question the other day, do you really need to use the red Loctite? And uh, yeah, yeah, you do, because... It's all about the system, and in my opinion, this is the best handguard system out there. Man, wouldn't it be great? But you don't want that touching. We're going to back it off. So what you do is you put your red Loctite on there, you let that freeze up, and then this section right here comes out, and then your barrel screws right in there. So there's a barrel nut in there, blah, blah, blah. In any case, pretty neat little deal, but we're not going for precision. It would be kind of cool if I could get that tight. Might have to do a little, I don't know, milling. We'll see. But that's it, man. This is going to be the competition uh, that we're going to go to down in Talladega. I would love it if you guys would get over there and subscribe to uh, Pops Quest, this is his channel. I'm going to put the link down below. And it kind of reminds me of the guys over there on the, when uh, they were doing the uh, – 
the Olympics. Like, hey, man, there's going to be a poker game in China. But while we're there, we got to play some basketball. So it's going to be a lot of fun. And that's it. So we're going to do reviews on all this stuff individually. And then what I want to do is we're going to get the uh, GMR by JP. We're going to get the factory uh, ARV by Palmetto State. And then we're going to do this custom. And we're going to hand them off. Some say that he was born with a Kessler. Kessel, uh, to, to whatever we call those things, up his butt. But all we know is we call him the X-Ring. We're going to hand this stuff off to X-Ring and let him run them on a course and see which rifle is fastest. With that being said, guys, I I love doing politics, but getting back to the basics and doing shooting, as soon as we get some clear ground without 18 inches of snow, I cannot wait. Go to Boy32. If you like this video, Please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless us men, women in uniform who support our Constitution as it was written by our founding fathers 24-7 for our freedom. It's freedom's not free. This is going to be a good-looking bad boy right here. I'm out of here. Y'all be good. Woo-hoo!